So I posted the uh, slides, I think, yesterday on um, Moodle for the lecture that I prepared on this topic. So uh, we're going to start with the motivating example and look at uh, the simple cases, how to do a hierarchical model. <coughs> Um, so the example that I'm going to use is actually uh, Korean drama ratings. I didn't collect the data, but it was actually a previous student a couple of years ago doing the project. And she was collecting data online and um, collected uh, Korean drama ratings. And uh, well, this is just some uh, overview if you're ever curious about um, those uh, Korean waves and how you can find streaming in the U.S. Um, anyway, so uh, you might be wondering like how those cadre are being rated in Korea. So at least in the data set that the student found um, back then, um, she was looking at three main producers or companies, like um, companies, and each drama is broadcasted in one of the four different times of the week. So what we have here in the data set is uh, three different producers and then four different schedules. So we have producers and schedules of the broadcasting. And the ratings are collected uh, from the AGB Nelson Media Research Group. And um, just take a look at one of the um, producers, so KBS, Korean Broadcasting System. And we use KBS for short. And for the particular data set that the student collected, there were 33 KBS dramas. Okay, so in the table here, we can see like the drama title, the schedule is before, like the indicating the one of the four different schedules that the drama was being broadcasted and the rating and also the date I think of the release date okay, of the drama itself. So the different schedules you see here is one is Monday and Tuesdays, two is Wednesday and Thursdays, three is Fridays and four is Saturdays and Sunday. Okay, so I think different schedule but as of right now we're looking at just one particular producer KBS. Okay. So within it, you already have four different um, schedules of broadcasting. So the goal here is trying to learn about the rating of different structure uh, of different schedules. Okay, so you have four different schedules of that. Alrighty. So um, the data set I posted on Moodle as well, so you can download the K drama CSV. And in particular, to get the KBS drama, the 33 that I showed you just now, uh, it's producer number two. So that's what you see that I'm doing subsetting over here. And uh, we're also making the schedule to be a factor, one, two, three, instead, uh, one, two, three, four, instead of a numeric. So we'll be able to work with a factor data which we should consider as categorical. So one thing I'm doing here is I plot the rating. It's density plots, okay, schedule one, two, three, four. And the ratings, uh, the range goes from 0 to 0.3. And you can already see uh, drastically different features or like uh, trends of the density plot itself. So before I move on, okay, check with your neighbor to see, well, what do you think um, are the differences and similarities between uh, those ratings, uh, density plots, and then how does that can help you think about any kind of modeling approach? I mean, you have seen this video prepared by Professor DeLeo, so you already know a little bit about hierarchical modeling, but regardless of whether you do hierarchical or not, just look at the data itself and um, think about some approaches that you think will make sense for, for data like this. Okay, so this is typically what we do, what we call like, <coughs> explore data analysis. You look at the data a little bit before you decide on your uh, modeling approach. Okay, so here I'm presenting you the density plots of four uh, different rating schedules. And I want you to think about and discuss with your neighbors of um, sensible modeling approaches that you can think of. Okay, so take your time. Okay. Um, let me just add one more thing. I actually got this. But the next slide here, I show you how to get those summary samples and I put it in a table. So that may also be helpful when you're thinking about a model of those. In this case, oh well, I already wrote it down, I guess. But <laughs> anyway, I forgot to talk there. But anyway, so the table is trying to show you the minimum, the mean, the max, of the standard deviation, the sample size of the four different schedules. So um, yeah, so maybe consider this together with the um, plot over here. And then just um, spend one more minute talking about the approaches that you can uh, think of. Also, Jane, so I yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's hear from some of you. Let me know which might you want to talk about. Whether you're going to the table and you're 
describing your uh, thoughts about the modeling? Anyone? So what's what's special, I guess, um, about schedule three? Everybody hates that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So for this um, for this particular um, producer, right, uh, KBS, I think uh, all of these um, movies, uh, dra dramas on Friday, three is Friday, so uh, did not receive um, good rating. And I guess if we look at so one thing special about this is you look at the sample size. So Friday only, I mean, in the sample, there are only three uh, dramas um, in that schedule. We all know that when you have small sample size, it's going to be um, pretty difficult to model, right? And mm -hmm. even so, just looking at the density plot, it's pretty noisy in some sense. Right? So, so that's um, good to observe. <laughs> anything about one and two, I guess they look sort of similar, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh huh. And four overall seems to be um, probably the uh, highest rating, and that's Sunday, uh, Saturday on Sunday. So if we look at the mean and the standard deviation, I guess first looking at the mean, so, so four different schedules, you can see that um, schedule number four has the highest, almost like twice. Uh, sample size is sort of uh, median, uh, whereas the Monday, Tuesday, as well as the Wednesday, Thursday have um, higher sample sizes. Um, so overall, what I was trying to get is, um, so think about, well, the rating itself is a continuous random variable, right? It's, it's being measured. So based on what we learned so far, using a normal model probably makes sense, okay? However, when we can plot, like using ggplot, um, doing this by schedule, you can see that, well, different schedule does follow very different normal distribution. So that's why uh, it's probably a good um, idea to model what I wrote down here that um, instead of, so remember, when we're doing like the normal model before, we are doing each of the yi, iid, for example, normal, mu, and sigma, right? That's what we've been doing. Whenever we write iid, <laughs> independently and identically distributed, so we're saying that each of the observations is iid. Okay? However, when we're working with uh, data like this, Especially you have one extra variable in this case about the schedule, right? And you already see that within different schedule, um, the rating behaves pretty differently in terms of the density plot. So it probably makes sense to, in addition, have this um, I label, you also label J. So here, the way that I'm labeling it, so I, so I would say J is the schedule index. And I is the drama index. Okay. So that is, if, um, say, Y11, that will be um, the first movie in Schedule 1. Okay. And um, so it's just um, a convention, and we're um, labeling this way, but you can do um, IJ in a different way, like drama index uh, as well. But what I'm trying to do is I try to use the I just to, um, to be the more granular um, index of the stuff that we're doing. Okay, it's so looking still looking at the drama drama level. So I'm doing YIJ. So um, here based on the plot as well as the table of the summary statistics, it probably makes sense to develop for schedule specific normal model. Okay. Like especially if you look at the plot here, you might say like looking at this, even though one and two, the schedules one and two might share similar mean and variance. But the other ones, I mean, the mean's probably pretty off, especially for number three here and number four uh, is having a much wider spread, right? So if you're trying to use a normal model to uh, to capture these features, uh, it probably makes sense to give mean specific, like specific mean and specific standard deviation for the four different model. Okay? So that's why we're trying to label data YIJ. And this is, I guess, the first time maybe many of you are seeing this kind of uh, labeling or representation. All right. 